hello guys welcome back to another video and in this one i'm gonna be doing a live silver bullet execution enjoy so as you can see i'm gonna be executing in the pm session silver bullet hour from 2 p.m to 3 p.m new york local time and as you can see with red i mark out the fair valley get that i will be using for my silver bullet entry as you can see just mark it out oh by the way this is not me live talking i'm just um doing a voiceover of the trade I recorded uh, already so yeah just so you know okay so we reacted from that fear valley gap I want to get a little bit of a better entry because we already moved away a little bit so I'm gonna wait um, some time or, or for return you'll see what happens so as you can see the jaw is higher we have equal highs, buy side liquidity above price. Um, on the left, you can't really see it because it's more on the left than you can see. But you can see the minor buy side liquidity on the left. Those small equal highs below the blue line. This is the minor buy side liquidity. And this is where you can take your partial. You can take something off. Or you can just, go, uh, you can just hold fully and um, take everything off at the buy side above. Now, as you can see, my stop loss is below the candle that made the fair valley gap. Um, and I'm also taking a partial above equal highs right there, just as I said. Now, we are coming into the fair valley gap once more. Now, I don't want to, I personally don't want to see it go below that candle because then it will invalidate my bias and the silver bullet will just fail, right? So minor buy sell liquidity on the left this is a partial you can see pretty clearly just above it and then full take profit just above it as well so we are moving away a little bit right there i'm annotating minor buy sell liquidity so you can see it on chart and we are moving away now we just got to be patient and, and wait and we'll see what happens now i think we'll go higher because the draw on liquidity is really obvious today but we will see um, we just have to be patient now we already have our entry it's not the exact entry at the high of the fear valley gap but it's close proximity entry now what does that mean this means that you can enter in close proximity as long as it's not too too far or um, if there's not much distance from the your original entry to the where you want to be at, at in the market then you can still take the entry because it's in close prox proximity and you're not gonna be hurt too much so right there we are dropping in this is a uh, troll soup right now as you can see we just took the relative equal lows on the left now we are going lower I want to see price personally move away from here note we, it can stop me out and then still go up which is just gonna stop me out and then I'll probably take another entry but this is what I want to see I want to see a reaction or um, I want to see a stop out and then I want to see a reaction from a lower fear valley gap and then I will re-enter so I'm probably gonna get stop out right there I just got stopped out so this is a loss right there as you can see I'm not hiding losses we th this is the executions as you can see on the left from the from the morning and then this is from now so we have a fair value gap and we do have a order block below it so order block plus fair value gap and as you can see the ICD silver bullet original fair value gap is right there now we reacted from order block and fair value gap and we came back inside so I'm gonna take another entry note this is very important if price stops you out you can still take another re-entry right you can still re-enter the trade even if it stopped you out in the first place now why that because the market is still probably going to go up right because we have so much buy side and it's so obvious and the retail traders are probably set will probably sell short because thinking is resistance but we're just gonna go straight up and clear them out now, as you can see as I said, I took another re-entry because we reacted from the fear valley gap, from the order block, and we came back inside this ICD silver bullet fear valley gap that I under, that I marked out 
at the start of the video now I took my stop I played my stop loss below the 50% of the wicks right there as you can see so it's at around 75% of the wick that is um, that is right there that drop into the lower fair value gap and the order block and then my entry is back inside the ICT fair value gap that I marked out and then partial still I'm gonna take uh, one off at the minor buy side liquidity and then I'm gonna uh, have rest run to the external buy side I marked out on the left so right now we're just gonna be patient now if I lose this I'm gonna I would stop trading for the day because two losses usually means it just wait for the next day wait for next session whatever it is in your trade plan but me personally if I get two losses I stop trading for the day and just continue demo and tape read price live so we are um, right there I could say that we are inside a breaker as you can see we had a troll soup we swept the lows we went deep inside but we did sweep and we came back above so this is a really clean turtle soup and I want to see price accelerate to the upside right now because we have a lot of confirmation and if we are really really bullish and predisposed to go higher then there's no doubt I have no doubt that we're gonna do that so um, we just have to be patient a little and then we will see what happens Note you can't we can't go break even just right now because price can still go down and tap into a the silver bullet fair value gap for our entry and then go higher which would stop us out at break even we would not lose anything but we would lose out on a potential trade scenario because price can easily just drop down back inside a fair value gap and continue high and continue higher from there so we we are moving up right now this is a nice displacement if it could say it's not a displace it's not really a big displacement oh yeah this is it yeah all right so right now i want to see a partial taken in the next candles because this displacement is really big and i also don't i would also i could go break even right now but personally i won't just yet because as i said we can still go back down and reach uh for the buy side later uh, we're we're coming to 1430 around uh, 50 percent of the silver bullet hour is over I really want to see that partial uh, taken those equal highs taken the modern buy side liquidity I want to see that and then I want to see price it could accelerate but it could also drop down a little bit and consolidates around the highs before going higher no I took a loss before and I'm going to show you the executions at the end of the video as well. But um, it's really important that after a loss that you keep your minds, that you keep your mind and that you keep your psychology straight and to the point, right? Because after I got stopped out, the bias was still bullish, right? It was still predisposed to go higher. So there was no need for me to go short and I could just easily re-enter and... Um, and just go long again placing the stop loss where I think the trade will be invalid now I would not take another trade for the day it's PM session it's coming to the end of the day uh, as well but I would not take another trade long because if we broke the low and we probably would if we come to 75% of the wick then we would be we could be going lower because we would have a mar shift in market structure and if we were going to go lower, we would probably have a little bit of a displacement as well, which would not validate my bullish bias anymore until we have a short term bullish shift in market structure. So we have accumulation and the smaller fair value gap that you can see just form with that displacement. We have accumulation right here and we should see now you could add here, honestly, if you want to pyramid entry. You could add right there in that fair value gap and uh, let it ride or take it above the equal highs for a little bit of a scalp. Now, me personally, I will not enter here because, you know, it's a silver bullet and I want to show you a one, one shot, one kill. So it's really, it's really simple once you understand the silver bullet, once you get 
how to determine a draw on liquidity draw on price where price is going to go next from there you just pick a fair value gap and, and, a, and find a displacement and you're all set and also right there we just took the first partial now right here i'm going break even so i'm moving my stop loss above my entry just a little bit to cover costs so commissions and and from this point on i don't want to see price retrace because if you do that just means that this uh m this run above the buy side liquidity on the left as you can see with blue line lower so minor buy side liquidity if we drop back down and stop us out at break even that will just mean that this was a liquidity grab and a turtle soup pattern and we will probably go lower because um yeah be because we would see a displacement and a shift so right here we just displaced over the relative eagle highs which is a very very good sign and a sign that shows that we want to go higher and that we want to take the buy sell liquidity above and go into new highs for the week so we just have to wait we are risk free we already took a partial and we are letting a 50% of our trade run to the buy side liquidity now guys while we wait I just want to thank you for watching the video and I want to ask you kindly to subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video also comment if you find this video insightful and uh, and if you like them or dislike them So you can see this is a nice displacement through the highs Which is another confirmation that we are gonna take the buy sell liquidity. We are not that far away, but we are still um, We are still going up and I think we have to, we will reach in another 10 to 15 minutes now of course it's in the chart that this video is sped up but it should be very very uh, soon there more displacement I'm just waiting for my for my take profit to hit at this point because uh, as you can see this price is really wanting to take the high there you go we just traded to the high now we have to see uh, what we do here now we retrace that's 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 normal because guys even if price just taps and th don't take uh doesn't trigger you to take profit limit order then you have to just wait stay patient as you can see the market is so predisposed to go higher that i have no fear in this even if you drop down to 50 percent even if you drop down to our stop loss just a little bit and then go up i will not be fear now if it stop if it stops me out from here then it stops me out there's nothing wrong with that but this market is going to go higher and you will see that delivery perfectly it's perfect guys because right here we are just accumulate what we are doing is we are accumulating long positions before buy sell liquidity will be purged now short now retail traders they see this oh reaction from a resistance level let's sell they are selling they are placing selling orders orders right here because we have eagle eyes on the left it's they think it's resistance they are selling and we are we could be buying as you can see this fair value get below you could be buying this if you if that is your model of course but uh, we are coming back into the wick now this looks very very promising right now and we are going up now as you can see this was just all accumulation before we go now I accidentally typed something but don't worry about this because um, it's just a, a me typing on keyboard uh, accidentally so as you can see right there we're gonna take the high very very soon and this is gonna be a PM session silver bullet second re-entry trade because if you watch the video the first one was lost which is nothing wrong with that losses happen and then this one was a perfect delivery fully uh, fully delivered to the buy sell liquidity let's see now and right there take profit hit um, you can trade the
the silver bullet every single day it happens every single day and it won't stop you have three sessions you have the uh, London AM and PM session and as you can see this is the execution for today now guys thank you for watching the video see you in the next one uh, like and subscribe and stay safe